So now we move to a Shabdam. And I believe this is a sixth year group, or maybe a fifth year group. Shabdam is another expressive dance. It tells the story of a particular deity. It is broken into four verses, and each verse is in a different raga. So this uh, Jatiswaram and is in prayed, praise of Lord Ayapa, whose famous temple atop Sabarimalai in Kerala draws millions of devotees. And it's the subject, he is the subject of this inspiring Shabdam. Born of the union of Shiva and Vishnu for the purpose of establishing peace in the world, the radiant baby is found in the forest by King Raja Shekara, who was out hunting and happened to hear the baby's cries. And he names the boy Manikantan for the shining jewel at his neck. And he makes the boy his heir since he has no uh, other children. This angers the queen, who devises a plan to get rid of the boy by pretending to have a headache and sending the boy to the forest to bring the milk of a tigress, thinking, of course, the tigress would just eat him up. When Ayapa succeeds in doing so, the queen realizes his divine nature and bows at his feet. Ayapa's divinity is further revealed when he vanquishes the demoness Mahishi and restores tranquility to the world. Those who seek the vision of Ayapa approach his temple after a period of purification in which the five senses are brought under control. So this group presents Ayapa Shabdam, a composition of my gurus, Sri Narasimhachari and Srimati Vasanta Lakshmi in Raga Malika and Misra Chaputala, which is a seven count rhythmic cycle. Sat 
ಪತಿಯು ನೀಲೈನ ಕವೇ ಪುಗಳ ಸುಂದರ ಗುರು ಬಂದೇ ತನ್ನ 
Dancers. Yes. <laughs> we have worked so hard on acquiring bhava, feeling relaxed inside, letting the bhava come out on the face. And you did it. <laughs> did you hurt yourself? What happened? Oh. Okay. All right. So closest to me, we have Mudita Upadhyay. Behind her, Lakshmi Manoj. In the center, Asrita Madhukuri. On the other side, Mihira Dash. 
and Urjasvi Sunavane. Thank you, dancers. Thank you.